Well, we got a special episode of Disrepair today. We're actually going to an elementary school. We had a kid named Stockton. He wrote us a letter and asked us if we could come and uh, show him the brat. So we're on our way there now, and uh, it's a surprise. So because it's at, it's at a school, they asked us to make this educational. So we are going to break this down into the scientific method of why in the world we'd convert a Subaru Brat into electric. So, so we're, we're Googling the scientific method. I guess it's observation. No, where does it start? Yeah, it starts right there. Observation, question. Observation, question, okay. Research topic area. Okay, we did hypothesis. that. Hypothesis. Okay, I'll look that up later. Test with experiment. Test with experiment, okay. Analyze data and report conclusions. Okay. It's committed to memory now. That's right. Because sure. this is a surprise to Stockton and his classmates. So we've got it parked around back the school, and here in a minute they're going to bring them out. I just want to get his reaction when he comes outside. <laughs> They have worked on cars for a long time. They they have a lot of mechanical experience and they have engineering experience. So they decided as a big science project that adults can do is they decided that they were going to turn a car, a regular car into an electrical car because electrical cars are becoming something of the future. Electricity, the fuel of the future. Can you see? Test drive the electors today and get a free gift. So they went through the scientific method just like we go through the scientific method in their car. So would you tell us like some of the steps that you did and what you did to make you decide that you wanted to do a project like this? Sure. First of all, who's Stockton? This guy. Oh, Stockton. All right. Car mechanic thingy. Stockton? Uh, you wrote us a letter, which I'll, I've built lots of cars over the years and we've never had anybody write us a letter about them so this tells me that this is significant right and I, I've seen your Subaru Brat and I've really been wanting to see it in real life he said he's a modeler he builds models I used to build models all the cars when we were kids we built models that and uh, now we're building the real thing so so I can totally get where you're coming from he wanted he invited us to come to your school he wanted to see it in real life and we were like what a better way to come and demonstrate this to all these folks here and you can see what really the future of hot rodding is going to be like for us so thanks for writing the letter really appreciate it so you can thank him for us coming today so this normally had an engine that would have taken up the entire engine compartment it went from side to side and it was this tall, okay? So this this little motor that replaced the one that was a lot bigger makes twice the power that it had originally. What? And twice the the torque. So it's way better, yeah. You want one of these? All the batteries we put underneath the bed of the pickup. If you were gonna put a charging port on an electric car, where would you put it? We use the gas tank door, so oh, yeah. cool. so when you open this, instead of having a yeah, you don't need gas. This thing has a digital readout that tells us battery life, all that stuff. But he's working on a he's doing apps right now, applications to make all the gauges on the dash work. How fast will it go? Y'all ever watch Back to the Future? We're going to go do, we haven't done our performance testing yet, but we're going to go do 88 miles an hour in this thing today and see what happens. I tell you, 88 miles per hour! So, <clears throat> scientific method, just, just to know that this actually is something you'll use later in life. Um, I'm an engineer by trade. Two hours later. Right? So we're, we're testing it out. And the reason we're testing it and so when somebody else builds one, we can go, you know what, this works, this doesn't work, here's what you can expect. All those questions get answered. It's been a, it's been a really, really fun time just to hear you guys' questions.